decision? Well, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> my decision is made already. You know, uh, Bob couldn't secure me the Spence fight when I was with him. So how you gonna secure me the Spence fight when I'm not with him? So, you know, uh, I'm moving forward with my career right now, and I wish everybody the best. between me and I'm gonna do you some serious harm you big stiff idiot the untouchable true school sports empire proudly presents something the boxing games were missing hey what's going on it's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of true school sports subscribers now make sure you guys hit that like button and definitely take the time to subscribe and all that will be greatly appreciated now listen man the, the, the floodgates have opened that the, the, the bondage has been gone the shackles and the chains that have been hindering and hampering Terrence Crawford's boxing career are finally broken. There is no more Bob Arum red tape, no more Bob Arum yellow tape. Terrence Crawford is a free agent and he is free to maneuver however he pleases. Now, Terrence Crawford, as many of us know, he's coming off a big win against Sean Porter this past weekend. But one of the most interesting things that happened this weekend was not just the fight, but what happened after the fight? Because uh, Terrence Crawford, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, he had that one clip where uh, he basically told Bob, like, hey, say, hey, hey, look, you couldn't secure me the big fights and you couldn't give me the Spence fight when I was with you. So how am I going to get the big fights without you? Um, you know, he said he's thankful. He said he's appreciative, but, you know, he's going to move on with his career. And I think this is a great move for Terrence Crawford because he's lost so much time, um, in my opinion. I like Bob Arum. Um, great, great, great promoter, all that stuff gets you to a certain point. But Bob Arum is hasn't been able to deliver for Terrence Crawford. And honestly, if I, if, I, if, I, if I keep it all the way 100, not only has he not delivered for Terrence Crawford, he's all, it sounds like he's been kind of happy to not deliver for Terrence Crawford because he made that really nasty comment last year where he talked about, you know, if I had all the money that I, if I, if I had all the money that I've lost on Terrence Crawford, I could build a house in Beverly Hills. Just really disrespectful, really classless things he shouldn't be saying in the media to discredit or, you know, disparage the image of Terrence Crawford, but he's done that. So, you know, the, the good book says, you know, in this life, you reap as you sow. So if you're out there, being disrespectful, um, you know, not putting your best foot forward, then guess what? You will get that back in return at some point in time down the road. And now is down the road. So there should be no, let, let there be no excuse. You know, let, let there be no excuse. Earl Spence, it's time to get, I, I like Earl Spence. I've been a fan of his for years, but the last couple of years, you know, it's, it's been hard to talk positive about Earl Spence because of the fact that he's been ducking Terrence Crawford. I mean, he was the one that created this whole side of the street narrative. He was the one that put all these roadblocks and stipulations. He was the one that's been delaying this fight happening because truthfully speaking, this fight could have happened in 2018 if Earl Spence really, really wanted the fight. But he got on that Al Heyman PBC witness protection program and he didn't want no smoke with Terrence Crawford. So now the walls are creeping in. They're, they're, they're closing in on Earl Spence and he's got, he's got a very important decision to make. Is he going to fight Terrence Crawford in 2022 and prove that his name implies what he says he is, which is the truth? Or will he prove to be a lie, a fabrication, uh, a, 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 a counterfeit version of what his nickname says he is, a counterfeit version of the truth? You know, we'll see come 2022 because I fully anticipate and I fully believe that Terrence Crawford will be signing with PBC. He will be, I think he will sign Al Heyman and Premier Boxing Champions. And if he does that, there should be no reason why Keith Thurman... Um, doesn't fight him or Earl Spence doesn't fight him um, because now, you know, he's now fought a, a top name PBC fighter in Sean Porter. So 
Let, there shouldn't be any issues. Now, uh, I, I have been watching a lot of interviews. Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather also said that he would be open to signing him to Mayweather Promotions and working with him because he actually said that Terrence, he believes that Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. You know, he tips his cap to Terrence Crawford. He thinks Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the sport right now. And that's that's up for interpretation. You know, I, I'm not going to have a problem with anybody who says he's the best fighter in the sport. I think he's got a great case. I personally have Usyk right now number one. That's just my opinion. But if you have Crawford number one, I'm not going to get mad at you. Um, Terrence Crawford, I think his career is in a great place because now he's proven to people that he can win a big fight at welterweight. A lot of people have their doubts because people, people, people don't know shit about boxing and they want to try to discredit and they don't really know what their eyes are watching when they watch Terrence Crawford. So they say, oh, Terrence Crawford's not good. Terrence Crawford's not this. He's not that. Terrence Crawford went in there and he delivered against Sean Porter. So he's now gotten some more respect put on his name. And um, I think now we're, we're entering in that last stage of his career, the final act of what's been a remarkable career for one Terrence Bud Crawford, the fighting pride of Omaha, Nebraska. And there shouldn't be any reason. Like, like there really should not be any reason why... Earl Spence doesn't fight him. Keith, Keith Thurman came out and said that he's more than willing to fight him in August or within eight months from now, next summer. So, listen, that, that could be a good fight. You know, Keith Thurman's a name. Keith Thurman's a, a former world champion, a former unified champion. He's a guy that uh, has some, his name has some prestige in this div division. So, uh, I'd love to see that fight. If that's a fight that PBC, Terrence Crawford, and all parties of all want to put together, you know, I'd love to see that fight. But, you know, as far as it, it concerns Bob Earl, you know, what, what did Vince McMahon say? He said, he said, you're fired. So, Bob Barrow, happy trails champ. Terrence Cross can move on with his career. He couldn't get it done. He could have got him the Pacquiao fight. He didn't want to get in the Pacquiao fight. He could have got him a lot of fights. He didn't want to get in these fights. And you seem to be happy about it because you were too busy blowing off Lomachenko. So, have fun. You know, I don't know, maybe... Josh Taylor could be a fight that happens, but I don't think Terrence Crawford has any interest in working with Bob Arum any longer. So we'll see what happens, but I'm happy for Bud. Hopefully he continues to uh, win, look impressive, and uh, prove people that, prove to people that he is one of the living legends in the sport of boxing. So with that being said, you guys take, take you know take the time to subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know what you think about Terrence Crawford being a free agent now. What do you think he should do? Should he go the PBC route? Should he sign with Golden Boy? Should he sign a matchroom? Should he, should he just be a free agent? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.